if I look at Western Europe and if I look at the cities I could or should invest in, and now let's further assume that your Madrid example would, would, would be illegible. Is, isn't it fair to say, and I may forget one or two, that's basically 25 cities in Western Europe of which 21 are German? What do I mean? It's London. You said Ile de France. What, what do we mean by that? Paris and the surrounding area. We're speaking of Madrid. And um, so what did I say? London, we say Paris, we say Madrid. And then there are, of course, the big seven in Germany. And there are, from my point of view, at least 10 more cities which qualify. Um, and we have seen studies, we've read studies, I think, one came out of your office, if I remember that correctly, um, that show what a sustainable growth we see in German cities, which are clearly B cities under the general <coughs> definition. That makes at least 20. Can anybody tell me if there are other Western German locations which qualifies for that? I, uh, Western European uh, locations which qualify for that. So in other words, we have a huge variety of different places in Germany to invest in Germany to invest in. You know, if I look across Europe, I think the vast majority of investment location, and by that a regional asset allocation, picking up one of your points, um, is possible in Germany. That is another argument to invest. And if we look at core and define core further, look for value add and for where, for where that could be, it's a totally different picture compared to Ile de France to London not speaking of Madrid. This is another argument which strongly speaks for Germany. 